Okay, here's some uh, shifting in the bus. You notice the pineapple's gone. We're gonna make a new pineapple later. Long story, but here we have a neutral. Put it in first, which might as well be neutral. Second, might as well be neutral. Third, again, might as well be neutral. And if you're lucky enough to make it fourth, again, might as well be neutral. And then if you're really lucky, you'll find reverse and it feels like neutral. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. jacked up. We got two sets of jack stencils on and rear wheels chalked before we get under her. Alright, she's safe to go under. Okay, so the reason for the sloppiness is right here. Here's the shift rod and this is an early bay window, or 73 so it sells the early bay, where this pin goes into the shift rod and you can see there's a bit of a gap there so it's kind of hard to move around, but see it bounces around on that, and they make a bushing that goes in there uh, that takes up all that slop. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. We got to remove the shifter, and then the shift rod halfway down. There's a coupler on it. We got to undo that, and then we'll be able to slide a new bushing on there. And here's my beautiful sketch showing the two different types of shift rods. This is what the late bays look like. So the shift rod goes in through this big hole, and you have a much bigger bushing that goes on it. For ours. There's this little rod that protrudes out this front face and goes inside of our shift rod. And then this is what the bushing looks like for that. So much smaller and we're going to get it in there. Okay, so here's a shot to get our bearings and where we're looking. I'm going to crawl up under there and that's where the brake master cylinder, I think that's what it's called, is. So that's the position on the shift rod that we're going to be looking at for where the coupler is. Okay, we're under here now. You can see the head of my jack, and then right up here is our shift rod, and then here is the coupler. Uh, from the factory this has safety wire on it, this one does not, um, so someone's taken this apart before. Uh, so yeah, should be simple, hopefully that screw's not stripped, and we'll take it off, and get the shifter off, slide this rod back, and put the bushing in. I took the boot off and the floor liner out, and then we got two bolts removed to take the shifter off, and there is a shift plate under there that has a little lip on it, uh, we want to make sure we remember the orientation on that so we put this back in the right position or else we won't be able to find our gears. All right, I mind these appear to be 13 millimeter uh, heads. Yeah. So now you can see we got the long flange on the left and the short flange on the right and then I want to make sure we put it back in that same order. All right, so here is where the shifter goes into the front of the shift rod. There's a socket there, ball socket, with a slot in it, and then the bottom of our shifter, it's a ball with a little rod coming off of that keys into that position, and then this is what shifts around. You can kind of see down there that little rod coming out of the frame mount to it that goes inside the shift rod, and that's what we're going to put that bushing around, and it'll hopefully take up the slop. Okay, back under on this coupler, it's a square bolt head, um, and it appears to be eight millimeters. So let's see if we can undo it. Oh yeah, not stripped at all. Beautiful. Okay, the shift rod is uncoupled, so now we can just slide this guy back and off that rod, and then we can try to slip this guy over it. Okay, kind of hard to see, but the bushing is the bridge of it. You can see right there over the rod. I got the shift rod coupler put back together as it was. Um, I'm going to clean this cup out a little bit and put some new grease in there. And then we'll reassemble it all together. And remember that plate that goes here. Make sure you remember the orientation of it. Here she is with the uh, bushing put in. So here's a uh, neutral. 
first, which is solid to the left, but it's got still a significant play to the right. Second, which is solid like brand new from the factory. Third, solid to the right, but lots of play to the left. Fourth, solid as the factory, basically. And then reverse. Uh, not great, but I think it's an improvement. So yeah, overall for a small couple dollar part, big improvement.